So I got this email from some company called the Taliban, and they were like, yo, yo, check out this War on Terror theme VST. Bush Laden Terrorism theme VST. Bush Laden VST. Bush Laden. <laughs> yeah, Bush Laden VST, mate. Yeah, in it. Yeah. <laughs> and I checked it out. And I was, yo, what? You want a War on Terrorism theme VST? I got you. If I'd have had this back when I was starting out, I'd be in Guantanamo Bay by now. And of course, none of this happened because obviously no one would actually make a George Bush and Osama bin Laden themed VST. Except they did. Hi, it's Matt back on Sonic Academy with, as you may have already guessed, more weird VST plugins. I think I may have found the weirdest. Other people have set out on this quest, insisting they're about to show you the weirdest plugins in the world. I've not come across anybody else covering this one. And I like to think it's because they had the good sense not to. So here it is, the, the questionable and interesting piece of software that is the, the Bush Laden Big Hit VST. It's hard to kind of start working through this because it's so bad. It's not just that a synthesizer based around a 20-year war that claimed hundreds of thousands of lives is possibly a bad choice anyway. It's that it's shit on top of that. If you look down here, we've got the Bush Laden VST plugin, and then I've got an Ableton limiter, and it's knocking 10 dB off the output. If you've got your headphones turned up loud, you might want to turn them down. Because here's the preset that comes banging into your eardrums as soon as you play the default setting on the Bush Laden. Brilliant! A default preset with a sort of gated LFO filter pitch sweeping thing that's set so high that if you don't stick a limiter and a 10 dB knockoff on it, that's going to pretty much shred you the second you touch a key. It's an amazing, amazing piece of work. Right. If you just wanted to kind of join me in goggling in disbelief at the fact that the Bush Laden existed, we've done that now. You can probably skip ahead and you'll find there's some actually useful VSTs. Having come this far, I'm going to spend a whole like two or three minutes showing you in case you are in any way tempted to make this part of your workflow, how to use the Bush Laden. I can't believe this is the thing we're going to do, but let's do it. So, here's a bit of fun. We've got a Bush waveform and a Laden waveform. There's Bushy, there's Ladeny. You pick waveforms from the usual saw, ramp, triangle, pulse, and white noises, okay? And pick noise too. You've then got two filters. Filters which cover things like low pass, high pass, band pass, band reject, or you can bypass the filter completely. And the filters can be sent one after the other, so filter one is then fed into filter two, or the waveforms can go into filter one in parallel and filter two in parallel, and so they both kind of are separately treated before being added together. So let's quickly hear what that does. You've got these controls, cut off for each filter, and Bush filter and Laden filter, they seem to mainly be a kind of resonance. So I'm guessing that Bush filter being set to 10 is where we're getting that squeal from. There we go, some of it's gone. Not all of it, but you can hear it's a little more ringy up there. And if I bring the cutoff down, we've got LFO, and that LFO is being routed to both pitches. Okay, so if I take the LFO pitch off and stick it on pulse width, then it will sweep the pulse. Okay, so we've got rid of the squealing finally. Now let's try and work through the controls again. So. Cut off one and cut off two. That's for the filters, okay? So the cut off. Okay, so that's modulating what sounds like a high pass. So filter two is over on the left, we'd expect filter one. Okay, yeah, brilliant. And filter one is over on the right, we'd expect filter two. Yeah, that's a band reject. The phaser sound is moving it around. Who designed this front end? I mean, they sat there and went, I've got this little kind of gatey synth. That's a nice idea. I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll make it like a DJing Bush and Bin Laden. But then I won't move the controls around so that it makes any sense. 
But then again, it doesn't make any sense, does it? So yeah, so I don't want to talk about it. It's part of the course, really. So yeah, you can control the balance between Bush and Laden, their waveforms, but not their filters, because the filters are in common, but the waveforms are individual, right? So if I've got Bush waveform on pulse and Laden on noise, so it's really easy. If I push us all the way left. Oh, Bush is on the left, but of course the balance is back back to front. So of course Bush. Laden, left, right, left, right. Of course, Bush is on the right where Laden is. So there's the Bush waveform over on the right where Bush isn't. And there's the Laden waveform, the white noise, over on the left where Laden isn't in the image. So that's all straightforward. Now we're going to move on to the gating texture bitty thingy. Right, there's an LFO hidden behind here, okay? And what we can do is send that to modulate the filter cutoff, the pulse width as we're doing currently, or the LFO pitch. So let's run through those. Let's get rid of the white noise. So let's just listen to oscillator one. Great. And that's pitch. That's filter. And this is pulse width. Okay, they're reasonably dependable. That's kind of doing what I'd like them to do. Amazing. And oscillator two, similarly, you can send it to either of those three destinations. That's kind of straightforward. And then we've got here a gate pulse and a BPM one and a BPM two. Let's try and understand these together. So, ah, uh, yeah, okay. So we've got the BPM. And then over here on oscillator two, we bring that back. Let's do that on cutoff. Well, it's all making much more sense now, isn't it? And if I change the gate pulse. You see, straightforward. Because the gate pulse is controlled by gate or not. And we're currently on gate, so I guess that's not. Let's try not, no gate. So the gate pulse controls the gate, which we can turn on or off. Okay, well, that's, you know, they're only like completely separated with a blue text you can't read on his black t-shirt. That, that's quite straightforward. So that gate pulse is the gating on the sound, and you've got a gate texture. Let's play with that. So gate on, gate texture. Okay, tiny gate, short gate. Longer gates. Okay, so we've got like a sort of like a gate release, I guess. Gate texture end might be like release. And gate texture sustain. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing a damn thing. Oh, okay. No, no. Speak. There we go. Okay, so let's try longer gate texture end and then change it to sustain. Yeah, basically, you can sort of hold the gate before it trails off, but if the release is shorter than the sustain, you don't hear it, because it's another genius piece of software design. Dear God. So this is the genius that is the Bush Love. And finally, attack, decay, sustain, release. We can have these things fading in and fading off. Okay, I'll try and make an even halfway usable sound, and then we are going to move on. Okay, I'm going to call it a day there because I've made a SID chip 8-bit kind of a... There we go. We've got a Mario pad out of Bush Laden, and that is as good as it's going to get. Obviously, I could improve it if I had a COVID-themed compressor, a climate change phaser, 
I just apologize wholeheartedly for bringing Bush Laden into your life. But the, the challenge was weird VSTs. I think I delivered. Right, well, I feel like I could use a deep spiritual cleanse after that. So we're going to look at this. This is Mandala from a company called Mantra. Now, what Mantra do is put out quite an interesting range of mystically, spiritually looking, beautiful plugins. And the sound choices kind of reflect that as well. There's a library of sound healing, for example. So we're definitely into the realm of the woo. And why not? Not everything has to be an analog model filter, blah, 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 blah. So what is Mandala? Well, Mandala is kind of like Mantra's version of Native Instruments Contact Player. It's a sample playback engine. And into this, you load various libraries they create. I've got the free library called Rasa, which is here. See, Rasa, Rasa. And it's really quite straightforward. This is just a little sample. It's that classic thing. They give you a free plugin and in return, you know, they kind of get your email. So it's nothing dramatic. It's not going to change your life. However, we do need some spiritual cleansing after Bush Laden. So let's get it. So we've got a nice raspy violin sample there, very nice if you're into that kind of thing. But you might be going, well, yeah, it's lovely, but you know, I don't feel very spiritually refreshed, Matt. That wasn't very meditative. Well, what I will do is I'll hold a chord down here and I'll have a mess with the three controllers that you can assign. You see up on the screen here, we have this equals arrow and circle. If I hover over the GUI, you can see that we've got the circle and then we've got the arrow and we've also got the equals. So I can assign controllers with MIDI or I can do this on the screen. So I'll quickly hold down a chord. And straight away, I'm feeling an awful lot more meditative and contemplative than I was, having been kicked into a dark sunned universe by the power of my mouse pad. And the clouds are back out. Oh no, it's black sun time. Uh, clouds and black sun. <laughs> no, let's do this slowly. So we've got this one controller here, which is the instrument blend. We also have intensity. I ascend to being a higher human, and as I do that, the sound of my violins gets a bit different and richer. And finally, I've got my filtering and FX blend as well. As I said, I can control these with MIDI controllers. I've got some here. So there's a lot there for a very simple sample preset. I can flick around and find some more. We've got, let's see, Ocean Jewel, which is using a combination of tapped lava rocks. So it's real groovy sound design stuff, to be fair. And the kind of peaceful, spacey interface it kind of works for me because if you're just looking at five sliders, eh, whatever, it's not much to kind of relate to. But by kind of putting this strong artistic imprint on what they're trying to achieve with the sonic side of things, they're kind of steering you to think, oh, okay, yeah, this is kind of contemplative, listen in, slow down, pay attention, sound library they've created. Now, if you get other mantra sound libraries, they all have these similarly mind-expanding graphic interfaces. So given all this, right, that we're on this like this big head trip, there's a really curious sample choice in this one, which I'm going to play you now, because 
on YouTube, like, you know, everybody's got like a few favorite YouTube videos, yeah? Well, like, one of my favorite YouTube videos has a guy in South America, right? I presume Mexico, and he is showing off the Aztec death whistle. Now, if you don't come across the Aztec death whistle, I urge you to go and Google the Aztec death whistle and try and find the video where the guy says, death whistle, before they play the sound. Because him saying it is almost as good as the sound, and the sound is pretty phenomenal. So you might be thinking, Aztec death whistle, peaceful, vibey thing, doesn't really fit. I don't think it really fits either. But nonetheless, I have been waiting for a sample library that includes an Aztec death whistle my whole life. So even if it has to have somebody achieving full yogic mastery as the front end, that's fine. It doesn't really sit together, but it is what it is. So you might want to turn your speakers down a bit or calm your nerves first, because here is the Aztec death whistle. Maybe you have a different sort of meditation practice to me, but I don't use that when I'm trying to locate my inner ying. I don't. I would find... Quite distracting on the path to inner peace. But nonetheless, we do have in this rather beautiful looking VST one of the ugliest sounds known to man. As I say, go and find YouTube, do a search for... Dead whistle. And you can hear the real thing. So there you go, that is the mandala from Mantra, your source of equal parts, total mindful bliss, and horrifying cannibalistic threat siren. Now I realise I may have failed somewhat in my attempt to bring you back to spiritual peace after Bush Laden, so we're now going to go on to possibly the most woke software synth ever made, an actual vegan VST. So what do I mean by a vegan VST? Well, I mean this. It's plant-based. <laughs> right, okay, yeah, it is plant-based. And you're thinking, well, that's fine, Matt. It's a lovely front-end app, but what the hell? I've seen nice animated synth things before. What's the difference? The difference is, look, where's all the usual filter cut-off and LFOs and all that stuff? They've all, they've all gone walkies. All we've got is a, a plant here, a seed in the middle, and this circly thing. Well, that's because this is how we're going to program our sounds, is using this plant. So I'll talk you through it. We've got a seed in the centre. And out of that seed is coming 12 different shoots or fronds, yeah? With each of these fronds, you can see they're labelled up on a particular note. So this one is assigned to G, that one's G sharp, yeah? So they're all assigned to notes in the octave, okay? So if I press D, you can see D gets a little seed on it. If I press A, A gets a seed there, see, yeah? F, okay. So, if I want to, I can change the length. I can shrink or grow any of these little frondy things. So let's take D. And while I'm holding it, you can hear the sound changing. So there's quite a range of sounds there. Now, as well as doing that to just one note, I can do it on any of the notes. So I can go to C. And C can have that strange chugging steam train sound, but D is still got a note. So I can set up a different sound by changing the length of these little shoots here. I can put a different sound on each note. So C, D, E. Okay, and you can see I can start making. It's a bit like if you ever use the Novation's AFX station, they've got that trick where you can have a different preset on each note. Well, this is kind of like that. And I can grow all of them at once by dragging. See this circle here? So once I've got all these sounds set, you kind of go. You 
you might think, yeah, but I really like just the sound on D. That's my favourite, yeah? Well, that's fine. What I can do is select D without moving it, ideally. So select D and then just double click in the seed in the centre and D falls in and I get a whole new synth where all the notes are playing that sound that before was just on D. So what I'll show you now is I can, I can keep growing these notes out and out. And the more I do that, I'll take you through a sort of range of just the random sounds that will grow. Because the whole point of Simplant is I don't have any control over this. It just grows. I can nudge it, but it's going to go where it wants to go. And if I just keep listening, I can grab the good stuff. So here we go. Okay, so let's drop that in the center. And let's grow it again. Let's drop that in the center, that's kind of weird. But let's carry on again. And anywhere along this shoot that I like the sound, I can just stop it and grab it. And great stuff here, isn't there? Wow. Okay, let's try a nice pure tone there. Let's just go see how far we can take this. Wow, okay. Oh, dropped the wrong one there. Oh, there we go. Go into silence. Let's try that one. And now we get into kind of short staccato things. Center. So, I hope you can see my point. We've gone through probably hundreds of sounds there. And at any point, I can grab them, save presets. If I like them, I can copy them into the center and make them the sound of the entire synth. Quite a nice kind of techno -y stab there. So let's grab that. And you can go on and on. You go, ah, oh, but Matt, I really loved it a little while ago. Well, that's good because we've got an undo. We can run through any of these. So it's basically a machine that stops you knowing what you're doing. Now, some of you who are just struggling with your first sense might go, ah, oh, brilliant, another one. I would say if that's where you are, maybe Simplant, could be the way to go, but probably the people who love it most I've found is guys who do know their way around a synth and are sick of always doing the same tricks. You kind of sit down and you go, oh, I'll put something on now. And yes, you know what you're doing, but you're probably going to end up going about it the same way. The nice thing about Simplant is it stops you doing that. you just got to grow things and listen. Now, once you've got all these sounds, let's get some random ones up here. You haven't got to keep cloning the sound out here. Like the AFX mode on Innovation, we can keep this thing of having different sounds on each note. And one groovy thing is that, see this here, this little circle we haven't touched yet? This lets us rotate the plant. Now, if I play a repeating pattern, okay, so C, E, G, you can see C, E, G. I'm going to keep playing those same notes. But I can move the plant and then different fronds will go underneath them.
And you can automate this with MIDI as well. So you can have these very simple arpeggios or very simple riffs playing and keep them moving. Now, it's on a very extreme setting currently, but if I make, say, that one the center and then just slightly change a few of the notes. And now if I do the rotation again, Kind of cool, isn't it? I'll quickly run you through the other things on here, but really that's the core of Simplant. Yeah, it's a kind of take your brain off, play with the plants, let nature inspire you, and go to places you wouldn't ordinarily go. We've got like a tuning thing to take it up or down an octave, so that's very easy. We've got atonality, it makes it basically start to get a bit wobbly. How wet and dry the effects are. Dry, 100% wet, and we've got how long the release is. Wheel scaling is how much the this wheel here, this circle. If I put that to quite small, then opening that circle and affecting all the fronds at once. Doesn't do a great deal. If I put it all the way up, then we'll get this. And that, of course, can be controlled in MIDI because that is just your mod wheel. We can control velocity sensitivity so that it's very sensitive to how I play or not really sensitive at all. And we've got volume. Simplant, by the way, keep it turned reasonably low while you're working because it can occasionally, with this random generation, occasionally surprise you with some really loud noise. It's got a limiter, but it's still pretty loud. So there you go. That's the essence of Simplant. There is one thing I'll quickly show you before we leave, and that is you might be going, oh, that sounds nearly perfect. I just want it to be... If I could just open the filter or just add a bit of vibrato, well, you can. Here is the DNA, the genes, okay? So in here are all the parameters that we can edit. Things like the waveforms that it's called here, um, A and B. We've got two oscillators, so we've got A waveform, B waveform. We've got the frequency, the color of the noise. We can add noise to each one of the waveforms. We've got a pair of filters, and they can be set uh, it's a bit like a Moog currently, uh, the two filter setup they have. We've got two filters and they're separated. So we've got filter separation, filter frequency, filter Q, which is resonance. If you don't know what any of these things are, even better, you click on the question mark and it tells you so. B form is the waveform, shape, and timbre of oscillator B. And it goes from sine to sawtooth to square to pulse. There you go, sine, sawtooth, square, pulse width. If we open that filter a bit higher, we should hear those changes even clearer. So filter frequency. Then we go back to the A waveform. Sine. Saw. Square. Pulse. So there you go. You can get in and have a bit of a fiddle if you want to take final control of your sound. And that is Simplan. Thanks everyone for watching, we really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video then smash a like and if you want to be notified about new videos hit the subscribe and notification buttons. Peace!